they've been coming together for the last 12 years to share their love of singing, led by one of Cranbrook's most colourful characters. I've been singing actually locally in Cranbrook, um, entertaining, at least I think it's entertaining, um, for, yeah, since 1970. Probably. Bud and friends sing every week at locations across Cranbrook and Kimberley and it's all in the name of a good time. At least that's what they hope. I think the folks enjoy it, yes. I think it's entertaining, but we're not in a position to judge that. By all accounts, it definitely is for these residents at Joseph Creek Village. They watch for it on the calendar. They um, tell each other in the morning, Bud's coming today, eat your lunch fast, we're going to go singing. For well, some of them it brings back memories of many years ago when they were kids and it sort of sparks a response. Well, it brings back a lot of memories from being a young fella. My whole family's been musical all my life. We've all sang in churches, festivals. And you'll be relieved to know this regular performance also helps to keep this band of singers on the straight and narrow. But it does keep us off the street. The cops are very relieved that we're not out there creating chaos. The long and the short and the tall. Songbooks are available for the guests to follow along, but they're for the guests only. We memorize all the songs. Memorizing is not that difficult if you really focus. Number nine, Waltzing Matilda. Okay. Once the jolly swag man kept his on a billabong under the shine of a coolie ball tree. Abbott has been entertaining people for over 40 years and the natural showman draws some high praise from one of his fellow singers. He's an amazing man, of course, he's 93 years old. He's basically the star of the show. With a rigorous schedule that sees Bud and Friends singing three days a week and with Bud now closing in on the century, the obvious question is, when does he plan to start slowing down? Oh yes, I've already slowed down. Yes, I'm at half speed. <laughs> I think he's gone forever. Probably in my lifetime anyway, he'll be still going. It's a very interesting character and he's full of variety. He's one of the kind. We have something to look forward to every week. We just love Bud Abbott. For Go Kootenays in Cranbrook, I'm James Farnan.